Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to you all, and welcome to June, who just arrived. I'm so glad to have all of you here, and it's my pleasure to share with you, introduce you to the year of the tiger. For those of you who would be watching live on Facebook, please remember to uh, type hashtag live. And if you're watching the replay, type hashtag replay and leave your comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you on Facebook. But during this recording, this um, session, I won't personally be able to share on Facebook. I have someone keeping an eye on the chat in case you have any questions, but I will be present, fully present in the Zoom room with the people who are in the Zoom room, and I'll follow up with your questions later on. So once again, welcome. For those of you who, again, may not have uh, met me before or come to one of my events, I'm Wendy Yorching of Healing Spaces Caribbean, founder of the Find Your Fire Tribe. I feel I call myself the tribe mom, and it's always a pleasure to share chi lifting events with the Find Your Fire Tribe. Today is all about the year of the tiger. And I'd like to start by asking you guys, and I, please feel free to unmute. What was last year like for you? 2021 was the year of the ox. What did you think of 2021 from a personal point of view? And what energy did you associate with the year of the ox? Anybody want to share? I think um, for me personally, it was transformational. Uh, there are a lot of things in play. Now, in fact, I was born in the year of the ox, so I am metal ox. And so that metal oxes are hardworking and they just kind of press through even challenges. So I found that while last year um, did have its challenges, I was able to press through and, you know, um, working with you and with others in the personal development space, I was able to see some wonderful transformations that put me in a really good position for 2022. That's fantastic, Christine, because you've nailed it. 2021, the energy of the ox was all about being strong under pressure, putting your head down and plowing through challenges, adversities, and staying standing. So that, and it was a good year for learning and growing and plowing things into the ground for future rewards. It was, it's not, it was not a fast year. It was, a, it, the energy of the year was somewhat slow, but slow and strong and forward, okay? Anybody else want to share their 2021 experience? Okay, then in that case, let's spring right into 202022. Now tell me, what energy would you associate if you hear the word tiger? Be brave. Lots of energy. Lots of energy. Leaping forward. L who is that, June? Ingrid, leaping forward. Uh huh. Ferocity. Ferocity, exactly. Courage. Courage. Oh, wow, you guys are getting it. Powerful. Powerful. Perfect. Perfect. And movement. A tiger doesn't use, sit, sit st uh, still or move slowly. When it's moving, it's moving quickly. The ox, when it's moving, it's moving slowly and steadily forward. The, the tiger has the element of springing into action in it. Yes? Yeah. Feel the difference? Very big difference. There is a difference in the energy between the two years, and it's very remarkable. And I have to ask you guys, of course, to please not lis listen to the dogs. I put them as far away as I can, but they are barking. And that, again, is part of that. And the birds are the soundtrack of my life. And I get used to them. In fact, I love them. So moving on. Let's get a little bit more personal with this tiger year. 2022 is not just the year of the tiger. It's the year of the young water tiger. You know, just now Christine said she was born in the year of the metal ox. Anybody want to say anything about the young water tiger idea? I will tell you, of course, because I love teaching. So the young water tiger. What does that mean? Well, just to set the groundwork, every year has a different animal energy. So the year of your birth, you were like Christine, a metal ox based on the particular year. 
you were an ox and you had an element attached to it. Every year has a different, an animal energy and an elemental energy. And every year also has the, the yin or the yang attached to it. Yin meaning calm or smaller version and yang being large and dynamic vision. So the yin and the yang go alternately. So last year, 2021 was the yin metal ox. And this year, 2022 being alternate is the yang water tiger. So in opposite, they're very different in many ways at the yin yang um, level, at the elemental level and in the animal, the personality of the animal. When you add in all the yins and yangs flipping back and forth and five elements, which if you have uh, joined me in any of my trainings on the five elements, you'll know all about what they mean. Then you have 12 animals because there are 12 Chinese animals in the Chinese zodiac. You actually have a 60 year cycle of yin and yang, the five elements cycling through the 12 different animals. So in Chinese astrology, you have a 60 year cycle and 2022 has the same energy as 60 years before, which was 1962. How many of us were alive in 1962? Now, if we could remember 1962, and I think- I was, I was. Well, I'm, 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 I'm very pleased to have you in the club. If we could remember, if we were old enough to remember what happened in 1962 and the energy of that year, this is the first time since 1962 that the energies have aligned in the same exact way. So very often astrologists and historians go back towards the, the last year that this energy was in one place and they see what happened politically, what happened um, environmentally, what happened to the world in that, in that year. And just to give you an example, that La last young water tiger year 1962 was the year of the Cuban Missile Crisis, so it was a very significant year for, world po for politics. Last year, yin metal ox, different from young water tiger, all that thought, and we're going to dive more deeply today into why. Um, I love the elements, and it's a part of all the feng shui that I do, and so I have, I feel guided to share elemental thoughts with you, so that you see things through the eyes of the elements. So here we go, hang tight. In 2022, we have yang water. That's because of the cycling of the yin and the yang and the elements from the metal to the water this year. So let's keep those in one pocket, yang water, big water. Yang means big and water of course is water. And it meets up with the tiger. The tiger has its own energy. It's all the things you guys said, powerful, courageous, fierce, ferocious, movement, strength, but the tiger also is composed of elements and the tiger's elements are wood, fire, and some earth. Now, when you put together all those things, here are the elemental energies that are at play in 2022. We have the tiger's wood, which is very big. And it's even bigger because if you understand how the elements work, water, the young water of the year, big water, makes the wood more strong. Anybody in the group done my course before would know that, right? Anybody want to wave their hands? And for those of you who haven't, thanks, Christine, and I know quite a few, those who haven't done the elemental training, just let, think about it. If you wanted to grow, wood represents your plants and your flowers and your trees. In the dry season, if you did not add water, they would not thrive. Water nourishes the wood element. So when you have big water, and you meet the tiger's big wood, you have a huge strong wood blossoming forth. So wood is the strongest elemental energy at play in 2022. Now the wood, the tiger also has fire in it. And fire is pretty strong because when you wanna make a fire bigger, you add wood. We have all this tiger wood going on and it makes the fire stronger. So we have fire being strong and then we have the young water, so water is strong, we know that. But the water is busy feeding the, the wood and the fire, so the water gets a little bit more managed because it's giving to the wood. You know, when you pour it into the plant, it seeps into the soil. So we have wood as this most powerful energy, fire is the next one, water being strong. And earth is there, but it's a little bit weak because nobody's really doing much with earth. And metal isn't there at all. Now, something to pay attention to is that last year and the year before, metal was present. The yin metal ox, metal was present. And I'm going to come back to that 
in a little while. Hi, Rashmi, welcome. So what does that really mean? And by now you're going, oh gosh, Wendy, really, really, this is a lot, all at once. We came to hear our, our, our horoscope for 2022. What does it really mean? This is the good stuff. This is really the stuff that I feel because actually I feel when the energy of the year is changing. And if you listen inside, you'll probably feel it too. Things have already started happening with the energy of this new year, as we'll talk about shortly. So now remember, wood is the strongest element this year. And yang wood, it's yang wood. All of these things are yang, very strong. And the wood energy, the yang wood energy is associated with new beginnings, expansion and growth. Are you beginning to see how it connects to what's gonna happen this year, to the energy of this year? The yang fire, which is also very powerful, is a fire that they call the fire of the divine justice. It brings hidden things to light this year. And it's the fire that gives us warmth and the feeling of joy when you guys sit outside on a brilliant sunny day and you feel that sun given joy. So this yang fire is bringing positive things. But of course, divine justice is a double edged sword. All right. And then the yang water energy. Well, the water energy, as we know, is big and strong. And yang water represents huge expanses of water like the ocean and the big waves and tsunamis. It is characterized by movement. Now add that to the tiger, which has movement too. This is a water that can't be stopped. You could contain it. You maybe it could be a lake with boundaries of earth, but it can't be stopped. It's always in motion. It's just a question of how big the motion is. Yang water can be from the sky or from the earth, but it, can, it has a power to overwhelm. It has a power to become torrential like, or like a tsunami. And then we have yang earth, not as strong as the others, but it's still there. And yang earth represents the mountain energy, strong, stable, unmovable. It's associated with strength and endurance. Do you guys begin to see how these things may apply to what 2022 brings and what 2022 might, how it might unfold? And then you add all of those things to the tiger persona, which is fierceness, it's reactivity, it's energy, it's nobility, it's strong desire to be free. And what do you get? What do you get? So if we put those things together, what would you guys expect to see happening this year or featuring this year? Tell me. I have put some things up. Try not to look at mine. Throw yours out. Unmute and tell me. Well, I definitely had a sense of new beginnings for this year, very, very strongly. Mm -hmm. You know, um, great development, good, big things happening this year. Very, very strong. And Arlene, thank you for sharing that. You are actually started making the changes already. You started living that. Arlene was one of the people who joined our last the, um, couple of weeks ago, the New Beginnings uh, Energy Vision Board Workshop, and she has done magnificent stuff with that. June, would you like to add anything, Ingrid? Yes, I know I have some, some helpers there, but how do you feel from what I've said, the possibilities of this year are going to roll? Um, I think I feel change and movement. Mm -hmm. um, definitely new beginnings in a certain way, but certainly change and movement. That's um, definitely there. And, and in, an increased sense of energy, heightened sense of energy. Definitely. Yeah. June, some, you, have, you have birds tweeting away by you as well, I gather. Yes, you heard that clearly, Wendy. Yeah. And I think a good word coming out there is change, you know, making decisions for positive changes. Yes, indeed. And having the energy to make those changes. And you notice because of the earth, the mountain, endurance is still there because we're going to need it. Because it's not necessarily going to be easy to make those changes. So it's good that courage and endurance are there. The tiger has all this movement and change and, and high energy. But you have a backup courage and endurance in the mix, which is fantastic. And do you guys notice it says strong push for freedom? What happens when you lock the tiger up for too long? You go crazy. Hi, everybody. <laughs> How would the tiger Push respond me. to the restrictions that were in play over 2020 and 2021?
go crazy. Go ahead, thrash me, hand up, go ahead. Rashmi, did you, are you saying something? I'm not sure. You guys, are you, are you hearing me? I'm not sure if my internet is um, holding. Um, I, I, can yes, hear, can hear um, I can hear Rashmi. We can hear both okay. you and Rashmi. Okay, I don't oh, hear Rashmi. So Rashmi, could you say it again, please? I think I'm my internet's here, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying, um, well, I suppose it's basically from before being fearless. You're not going to take any nonsense and just going to go for what you want. Um, unleash yourself, basically. And I, I can feel the vitality already. Yes. Um, and yeah, just not wanting to be restricted. Definitely. Okay. No so, restrictions. So how is that? And I can feel the plans from yeah. last year taking effect fast. Yes. It's good. Well, things, things <laughs> the ox plowed into the ground and therefore you realize with all this energy and this push, mm -hmm. desire for freedom and the courage that this year is not necessarily going to be a peaceful year okay so let's let me give you a disclaimer before we go any further i am not an astrologer i am a feng shui master feng shui consultant or aka feng shui expert and i deal in energy and i deal in the elements and i love them and i live them and i breathe them but i'm not an astrology expert what I share with you now is for fun and information. And of course, if you would like to have more in-depth information or ask hard questions, I can connect you with some of my feng shui peers who are specialists in astrology. There are a couple of them. I use their wisdom every year to create my forecast for the year and put it together with my own blend, which is what I've done for you, but they are the source of what's coming, all right? So anybody's interested in further information or connections, I'm happy to share them because we all work together. All right, so let's move on. Here are the predictions for 2022 by one of my favorite astrologers. This is a guy called Laurent Langlais. He is a feng shui expert and astrologer. He lives in, he's from Paris, he lives in London. And every year he is very generous with his predictions. I then combine it with some of the other people that I respect, I put it together, but this is much, much of this is from him. And effectively, he says, in 2022, what to look out for? Well, one of the questions everybody wants to ask is what happens to the COVID scenario. And his belief is that COVID is not going anywhere. It's probably be around as part of our, in the forefront of our, of our awareness until about mid 2023 from what he can see. But the way people process it will be different. And he believes that there will be serious social unrest because of undue restrictions or impositions by the government on the people. And he believes this year is gonna be in countries that have a lot of restrictions, very turbulent. We see some of it happening right now in Canada, for instance, it's not fighting, but it's the trucking people have driven across Canada to show to the government and they're camping out and they're showing their dis displeasure with what's been happening and how it affects their lives. He believes that there are going to be many movements all over the world for people to come free of the restrictions that have been imposed because of COVID. He also believes that many governments will release or loosen their restrictions as has already happened in Britain. He believes some governments will follow. He believes some governments will try to sit on both sides of the fence and some governments are gonna hold on tight to their what he calls agenda, having things very, very restricted and um, controlled and digital passports for everyone to go anywhere to have any lives. And so he thinks this is going to be a very turbulent, turbulent year in that area because obviously there's a potential for, for many clashes. They can be peaceful um, so movements and they can also be clashes. And um, even in Little Trinidad, uh, about a month ago, there was a uh, disturbance that had some you know, very unpleasant results. So social unrest, movements of the people to be free of the restrictions and regain their freedom as they see it to be. Uh, scandals, remember the fire element allows things that were hidden to become to be seen in the light. The light is, is shone in the darkness. And he believes the scandals may be political scandals, bribery and corruption and collusion, medical scandals, perhaps they tied together, say no more. Mm -hmm. and. Again, some of that will contribute to the social unrest, the feeling of this year. He actually says, 
agitation for the first part of this year. And guess what? Diplomatic tensions, Russia and Ukraine are already facing off and he sees much more of that. He sees a social, um, he sees boundary, boundary restrictions, um, issues con, um, involving migration, immigrant crises, blockages at the border and, and, and human crises re, re, because of that. So these are a lot of the things that are huge and he sees them as coming even more huge and more powerful and more present in 2022 because of the elements at play. And natural disasters, of course, because young water is young water. So look out for things that involve big water, tsunamis, et cetera. Maybe earthquakes causing tsunami, didn't we have one recently? And therefore, mm -hmm. and therefore poor little Tonga, all right, is now getting um, COVID because of the, get the rescue efforts. The year started changing from the time the, the gosh, the, uh, the winter equinox. From the time this, the third week of December came around and the energy of the earth started changing because of the sun and the moon and all that, we had the energy starting to shift and these things can be logged back into that period from then to now. The energy started to move towards the year of the tiger. Now, he also says because of the fire element being present so strongly and the big water, he is saying, look out for things like involving fire and water. And did we not have an oil spill recently? And he's looking, saying more of that, fire and water. So these are the challenges of 2022. It's not going to be a peaceful year when you can sit sit quietly and say, oh, it was a very peaceful, calm year and um, the flowers grew and the birds sang. No, if you're following the news or if you're involved in any one of these, it can be very, very challenging, very turbulent. However, there are also good things in 2022. Of course, there's a yin and a yang side to everything. And in this case, he says one of the most beautiful things is that the fear that we've been living under and that is for people who are sensitive to energy, we felt it in the planet, we felt it in the human, humanity for the last two years since COVID came around and grabbed us. The energy of fear starts shifting, starts breaking up. The tiger sort of breaks through it, like going through a wall and hope starts coming back. Remember, we have the fire element, the element of light and the element of hope and wonder starts returning. There's a sense of adventure and excitement. That's partly due to the fire, of the, the fire and the tiger energy, Adv adventure. People are seeking more fun and entertainment. And in spite of everything with all the airline restrictions and difficulties, he believes that travel will increase because we just want to go. And if not virtual travel and all kinds of breakthroughs and new discoveries, he's talking technology. So he says, look out for holographic and virtual reality, exponential increases. And you guys, I'm sure you've heard the metaverse is coming, what Facebook has announced. Metaverse and everything, think metaverse and everything. So medical discoveries, <clears throat> technological discoveries, discoveries and breakthroughs in all fields. Space exploration is going to continue in all kinds of new ways. And we already had some new ways last year and bring new discoveries. He actually thinks that they might find proof of life somewhere else in bacterial form or something in 2022. And I read a National Geographic yesterday that says it's possible. And I went, oh, this is cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He believes that new tribes of, of humanity are going to form, excuse me, I'm going to cough, <clears throat> because of this new energy and because of what people have gone through, the tribulations we have suffered as a, as a collective humanity in the last two years, that new tribes are, already have started forming. People you did not think you would be connected to before COVID, all of a sudden, you're telling them all kinds of personal stuff. They're your best buddies, and you're even telling them you love them. And they may be all virtual, but he's also not saying all virtual. He's seeing new communities forming, but of people who would not normally have been together until this, this excitement happened. Brigitte is loving it. I'm so glad. And I find that very exciting too, because it might make us shake out of some of our old restrictions and open up to new inputs from other people and, and actually value them and love them up and share ours with them. So I see more richness coming out of this. And then he said, a change of lifestyle towards more self-sufficiency and, and a more equal approach. Well, do we need it or do we need it? The world has been crying for this for a long time and there's so much to be done. We're not addressing all the bad, but this is a step in the good. And the, one of the reasons why self-sufficiency will be so crucial and actually perhaps we be many people who don't want it will be forced to it is because on a challenge in 2022 that he also saw was of course further disruptions of the supply chains. 
And if you live in a little island like I do called Tobago and your supply chain is broken up, all the lovely imported goods that you're used to having in the supermarkets and in the stores are no longer coming because the supply chains are disrupted and the, to the big countries, the, even worse to the small countries, you have to learn to be more self-sufficient and fix the fridge and repair the car and plant your own food because you can't get the foreign stuff so easily anymore. And when it finally arrives after 10 months or 10, two years, it's so expensive, but given you've been, you know, things have changed for you financially, you can't afford them. So self-sufficiency, going back to the old time days in a way for many people. And I see that as a good, I put it in the good. And he also, he also said, increased connection with God, with the divine, increased spirituality as a result of this journey that we've been on this year with the, with the fear being shifted and the expansion of our hearts forward, the spirituality and connection that began to be more important to some, of, some people in the last year out of fear will become applied to the good. So I am looking forward to that. Anybody have questions? Christina, have you perhaps seen if there's any questions on the Facebook chat? I don't know. No questions. Okay. So Nothing as yet. Okay. So anybody have any questions on that or shall I roll on? Now? Okay. No so questions, now, Wendy. Yeah. But, no questions, Wendy, but just an observation mm -hmm. that um, the environmental changes, we've already begun to see it. We started the new year with that tsunami in Tongo. Yes. <laughs> and here in Trinidad and Tobago, I don't know if people realize that we had five earthquakes recorded in January alone. I didn't know it was five, um, Kathleen. I yes. Know, I felt one five. for sure, but I didn't know it five. was five. Yeah, yeah five. Oh. I felt two of the five. Okay. Okay. So prepare for 2022. <clears throat> so let's move on and go a little bit deeper. Do you guys all know what animals you are in terms of the Chinese zodiac? I think so. Anybody, yes. anybody not know? I don't know. Well, Ali, Google it. I don't know either. Okay, so go, to, just go in, um, take a moment while, while I, I talk to other things. Take a moment, Google it if you have a different device or, and see what, what animal you are. You just have to go Chinese astrology or Chinese zodiac and it'll come up with a calculator and it'll come up with something where you put your date of birth in and your year and it will tell you what animal you are and then write it down, okay? If you don't have it, that's the way to do it. So I'll just talk for a couple of minutes and why do you get that? So as I mentioned earlier, there are 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac and each of those, these animals rolls through the years with a different element attached to it. So there's, they go, there are five elements, 12 animals and the yin and the yang. The animal that you were, the year that you were born in gives you a yin and a yang symbol, an element and an animal. Now, most people just grab the animal. So they know I'm a rabbit, I'm a tiger, but they don't know what element they are, meaning what element they were born in, in that year and what, whether it was a yin or a yang. Christine knows that she's a, 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 a yang, a, no, a, metal, a metal ox. But Christine, do you know if you were a yin or a yang metal ox? <clears throat> most people wouldn't know that, you wouldn't be bothered with no. it. And, and it's okay, it's just you're aware that you are the ox and that's the level we'll play at today. All right, but know that there's more to it. It's yang, the year that she was born was a yin or yang metal ox. And that is a different year from when the yin metal ox comes along because the yin is a gentler energy than the yang. Okay, so, um, so yes, Christine. One thing, um, if, if you guys can access uh, the tribe, I've just put in the elemental calculator for your dates of boost in there so you should be able to see it you're wonderful christine so so it's based on your year of birth and when you're looking at if people are going to dive and play in in in, in chinese astrology i have to, to give you further information when you're working just with your year of birth like we're going to play now you're doing just one of what we call your four pillars there are four pillars to your actual astrology if you're doing it with say a professional astrologer, they would do a chart called the four pillars or the BAT-C, B-A-Z-I, which considers not only your year of birth, which is Christine the metal ox, but they will also give 
your use your month of birth and that has different energy attached to it different animal different element different sign the day of your birth and the hour of your birth it goes really specific so when somebody in the chinese astrology field gives you a reading it covers your year your month your day and the hour of your birth so it's much more um, specific much more accurate than anything that we could do if you're just looking at the year so just like when you are looking, you know, people say, oh, I'm a Libra, I'm a Virgo. That's just a bucket. There's a lot of people who are Libras and Virgos. But if they tied it right down to the minute that you were born, which is what the Chinese astrology does, then it's very special. And you'll find a lot less people with the same energetic characteristics as you. Okay? So just want you to be aware of that. Today, we're just going to play with the year of birth. Everybody got their year of birth? <coughs> Marlene, got that? Yep, got yeah? it. Fantastic. I got it. What are you? What are you, Arlene? What are you, June? Goat. Goat? Okay. You're... Arlene, I should have known. So am I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's run through. Anybody, do we have any dogs here? Yes. Who's I the was dog? Born in the air of the dog. Reshmi. Reshmi. Reshmi is a dog. Anybody, any other dog? <laughs> Anybody, any other dogs? Born in the year of the dog? Born in the year of the dog. Only one person, Rashmi. Okay, Rashmi, I hope you're on camera. Are you on just camera? Me, just me. Okay, just you. I am, yes. Okay, well, I'm trying to see you, but I can't see you. Oh, dear. All right. So, if you are the sign of the dog, you are favored this year. Da -da -da -da. The energy of the time Ooh. awakens you <laughs> and allows you to discover hidden talents of a new vocation. Your, friend, your friends and your social life should also wake up. You should benefit from investment opportunities, but don't bite off more than you can chew. It is a year that stimulates you, but uh, try to keep things in moderation rather than follow you know, excessive ambition and, and, and experiences. Your well-being and your insights should be what you take care of this year. It's a, it's a high energy year for you, but take care of your insights, okay? <clears throat> Again, remember, this is all coming from an astrologer, not from me. I did not create this. <clears throat> okay with that Rashma? Rashmi? No, sounds good yeah sounds good yeah, to I like you. That. Indeed. I sure why not okay <laughs> anybody born in the year of the ox do we have any oxes say me Ma me oh yes oh Christina and Margaret okay for you ox this is a unique opportunity this the, this year is a unique opportunity to transform yourself be proactive it's the ideal year to leave, leave behind bad habits, false friends, and a toxic work environment. Go from being, if you were, a victim mentality to that of a winner. In fact, this year forces you to evolve even further. Don't see it as a constraint. See it, the forcing, as an opportunity. If you have a philosophical approach and are ready to evolve, you will benefit greatly from this year. If, however, you are conservative and you want to keep things the way they were at all costs, you will enjoy the year much less. So in other words, go for it. Good for okay, that. So that. That sounds good. Just want to let you know. So uh, I don't think she's here, but uh, on Zoom, but Terry uh, Hiller Kaminsky is also with us live. Uh, <laughs> Charmaine Thomas and Wendy Rachel. Uh, also watching us live. Welcome, guys, who are watching us live. Please, if you have questions, Christine is monitoring and she will get back to She let me know what you're asking. Wendy okay. says, uh, tiger, tiger, burning bright, water, tiger. She's a water tiger born in 1962. Wow, Wendy, this is your year back. Okay. <laughs> right. So Bridget says wood snake. Okay, I just checked the chat. Right. So you guys, you oxes got it. Shall I move on? Okay, so how about the rooster? Do we have any roosters? I know, Wendy, you're a tiger, so do we have any roosters in the bunch? If you're a rooster, own up. If not, I'll move on to the next critter. Okay, how about a pig? Any pigs? Yes, pig Kathleen. is. Kathleen Maynard is a pig. 1959, yeah, the pig, yeah. Okay, the pig, is a, it is a year of evolution for you, Kathleen Maynard. You benefit from support in your career. 
it is a good year for retraining or to go back to school. Pigs with artistic temperaments will also find themselves inspired and could have great opportunities to make their art known. Your friend, your life of friendship, friendship life, is certainly the most positive aspect of the year for you. But a romantic encounter could also take place precisely through the avenue of romantic friendship. Da -da -dum. Hey, bring it on, bring it on. Bring, bring it on. <laughs> now, I must make a, this, another little um, caution that not all the animals will have uh, stellar results in this year, because every year the animals have different alliances, different friendships. And so you'll find every year some animals are really, really energized by the ruling animal, and some animals are struggle, struggle with it. And it's not to get this distressed if you're struggling with it, but it's to be aware and make sure you take extra special care to, to, to create good good um, good chi in your life in all the ways. We'll talk about that shortly. So moving on from the pig, <clears throat> we got to the rat. Is anybody a cute little rat? How about on the Facebook chat, uh, chat Christine? I know we have one, one tiger, but I don't know the others. Uh, no, no, no one has indicated except, okay, uh, wait, Charmaine Thomas, she says young fire drug, she's a dragon, and she's the only other person who's responded, Charmaine oh. Thomas. Okay, we wait, wait till we get to the dragon, so no rats, so we move on to the rabbit, do we have any rabbits in the house? I think some of you don't have animals. <laughs> okay, no rabbits. How about horses? No horses. Okay, monkeys. No monkeys. Snake. Yes, Bridget is a snake. Okay, and you are a wood snake, Bridget? Yes, yes. Okay. Well, again, we're not dealing with the wood this year now but your wood energy would be supported by the wood energy that's being fed this year. It's a very, a very you know, clear alignment there. However, let's talk about the snake in general. So the snake, it's not an easy year. If this year, right. if this, you already see that, right? No. <laughs> okay. If this year was a movie, you could call it an action thriller. This year generates um, the feeling of conflicts or enmities or fighting um, in your life. And you'll have to be patient and not let it get to you, not let it uh, take it on too deeply. They say legal troubles that can also arise. So avoid taking risks that might bring legal trouble. Remember that not all battles are worth fighting for. It, your peace of mind is much more important. So maintain your center. You'll have, all, you'll have ups and downs in your personal energy. Oops, lash me just trying to get in. You'll have ups and downs in your personal energy. So self-care and as I say, being um, supporting yourself, holding your center is very, very important. Look for inner solutions rather than waiting for outer solutions. If you're open to what you, the, the challenges that come your way can teach you, this year can be the source of huge progress and things will go better. Expand your connections, reach out and meet more people, which you are doing with the Fire Tribe. Life is better when you are helping others. That's for you, Bridget. That's what I do. So I'm glad I already have a self-care routine and I do take care of me first before venturing out. So we're good. And what it's saying really is this year, be more, um, be even more vigilant with that. Have this little bubble of protection around you so that whatever comes your way that people want to fuss about does not affect your core. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And we have a dragon. Show me and Thomas is a dragon. Yes. Yes. So for dragons, it's another bit of a challenging year. It, it says God helps those who help themselves this year, dragon. Be proactive and put your ego aside for a moment. Excuse me. <coughs> there, might, there are few unlucky stars, as they call them, that affect the health of either you or people elderly in your family. So pay special at attention to your health and their health. And try and to, to when you, if you're traveling, travel, travel safety and traveling. Keep an eye on your health. You're likely to feel out of place or left behind for part of the year. But if you take the initiative to change your environment 
or your beliefs, things will be fine. It's on the friendly level that you have the most positivity. If you manage to become social again, and Charmaine, I don't think you ever stop being social. If you manage to become social again, there are beautiful encounters on your way this year, especially in March, but you need to, be, to get out to meet those, in, um, situ those in, encounters. You need to get out more, I guess. And what I think is most important is they say, it's a year for spiritual growth for the dragon. There are no limits this year to what you can do if you seek the wisdom and inspiration that you need from inside and not from outside. Okay, somebody wrote a chat, let me check that. Just, June is a rooster. Okay, I got it, whoops. And now we have, oh, I have to go back to the rooster. Hold on, that's what the hint was about. Let me go back to the rooster. Rooster was way back. Uh-huh, let's keep, keep going, keep going. Rooster, okay, the rooster. This year will be different depending on your gender. If you're a woman, as you are June, it can be a year that brings you, brings you luck on the job and allows you to increase your income, possibly by changing companies or jobs. If you're a man, which doesn't really re relate to anybody here, then you have a little, little bit more challenge. In either case, the year is good for meeting, dating new people, June, and is also likely to help you move maybe even to another country. Does that resonate? And that's a nice option. <laughs> so I had reached the ram, Arlene, which is the same as the goat, Arlene. Okay. Which is the same as you and me. So this, mm -hmm. this year of the tiger is rich in promise for the goat. First of all, your love life. This is a year that could very well bring you a soulmate. Love with a capital A. I, I take it that means amor. Oh. <laughs> if you are in a relationship, you can reconnect with passion. It's also a good year for your career or your life path. And you should have prospects for development in that area. It's exactly the opposite of how 2021 felt for you. It may be that you need, however, to change aspects of your lifestyle and take better care of yourself to be ready to move on at top speed in the year of the tiger. Okay. Okay. And now the tiger itself. And we do have a tiger here, don't we? I remember somebody saying they were a tiger. That's Wendy. Um, Wendy, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, yes, Wendy on, on Facebook. Okay, yes. for, the, for our tiger, the tiger is the sign of this year. Now, guys, it's not always beneficial to actually be in the sign that you're born. Sometimes it's too much energy and it's a problem, but not with the tiger. If you like being in the spotlight or if you're an entrepreneur, this is a pretty good year because this year pushes ambition. It, if, on the other hand, you prefer to be left in the corner alone and quiet, then this year is gonna be very uncomfortable for the tiger. In any case, it's a year where a tiger should do introspection and questioning of self. Tigers who put their dreams aside and don't follow them will experience this year as a midlife crisis because this is a good time for the tiger to move forward. Whatever you do, you'll be subject to, crit to more criticism than you used to this year. If you're in a relationship, be open to dialogue Otherwise, you may experience some real tensions. Now, Wendy, I'm aware that you're moving forward in your, in your life this year and doing new things. And um, some of those new things might actually cause some tension. So uh, yeah, I think this is actually pretty um, useful information. Well, has Wendy said anything on the chat, um, Christine? Uh, no, but Charmaine did say uh, she's already started. Fantastic. Fantastic. And it'll be interesting to hear what Wendy says. Yep. Yes. Okay. Keeping an eye. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. Um, Terry uh, Hella Kaminsky says she's the year of the pig or boar. Okay. And we have done the pig already, didn't we? Or we didn't do the yeah, pig? Yeah, did we? I don't think. Yes, no. we did the pig. We did the pig. We did the cutesy little piggy. Okay. So um, 
Terry, perhaps you could catch it on the replay, the pig, or do you, do you, would you like me to, to go over it again for you? That was nine minutes ago, so maybe she did catch it. Okay. All right. Well, let's move on, and I, we can talk privately, Terry and I. Okay. So those are the 12 animals and the forecasts for the 2022, the year of the tiger for each of them. Remember, again, that is just one of the pillars of astrology and Chinese astrology. And for more details and better, a better outlook, if you want to, I can connect you with the people who specialize in this, this thing. But I think it was good for fun and excitement and to introduce you to the Year of the Tiger. So I thank you guys for being here and I wish you a wonderful Year of the Young Water Tiger. And I'm gonna stop the share and come to where I can see all of you. <laughs> there we are. So any questions? No. No, I think it was very thorough, Wendy. Did you enjoy? Did you guys enjoy? What did you think of it? Absolutely. Yes. Always have fun. <laughs> you, can, you can unmute now, you know, I'm good with that.